this is the beginning of video 2 on how to restore your .NET Nook site backup using the DNN backup module. So in the last video we had just finished finishing finished copying the backup of the site files and the database script to the backup folder of the restore pack. So now what we have to do? We have to call the restore application so it, we can get to its interface and start restoring the the website. Okay. So to do that, we have we are doing that in my local host. Here is the local host, the uh, site that we are restoring, the backup folder, and we are calling the default uh, page inside the backup folder. So let's hit enter here and see how it goes. It will not do the, the, the restoration automatically. It will start a wizard. So we can select a couple of different options there. Let's just wait for the interface to come up for the first time. Perfect. Okay. So it gives a welcome message and it says it, it, it does analyze the, the settings and it says that it, uh, your website seems to be empty, which is true. But still, I did not even put the connection string anywhere there. Let's start and let's click through the, the next, through the wizard here. So let's hit next. See what will happen next. Uh, now, very similar to when you install a, a new dot that took site, it will test the permissions in the folder. Let's test permissions. Okay, very good. We have a fail here. I think that uh, I just didn't set up the IIS user. Let me go back there to the folder. Let's go, let me go to the properties. Let me go to the security. So here in security, let me go to IIS user. Let me click um, advanced here. Okay, edit. And then that user, let me give full control. I think that's the problem here. Let me go back to the page. Let me try and test permissions again. Perfect. This time we have a full pass here. Okay. I just missed one user under the permissions uh, for that uh, application folder. Okay. So now let's click next again. Now I have to enter my license key once again, and I will click on browse. Here is my license key. I'm going to click on test license key. So your license is valid. Let me click next. Now, a couple of options here that we have to go through. First one is let's do a database restore. After that, we set the proper main portal alias, which I'm going to get in a second. And the third option, the third uh, step will be to do a file restore. Now, because we have placed the zip files inside the backup folder, it will, this, this wizard will, will, uh, do some assumptions here. Let's, let's keep the first one selected and let's click next. And you'll see what I'm talking about. We're going to do a database, uh, restore now. Now, again, very similar to the DNN wizard, we have to set up the access to our empt uh, SQL database. So I'm going to se select SQL database is called 1-800-DNN-RESTORE. I'm not going to use integrated. I'm going to use the SA, which is the user, the owner of the database. I have the password preset here. I'm going to test database connection to see if everything is okay. Perfect connection successful. And I'm going to hit next once again. Now, because of the naming convention that I have uh, kept the same as the default in the module, it's assuming that the zip file called my database is the one that contains the scripts for the database restore, which is true. Is there a zip file password? No, there's none. But if there was, I could set it here. I'm just going to check this. So I, I, I'm informed that I want to restore this 
backup. If I had multiples there, I could I could see a list of them, all of them here. Now I'm going to click test file just for the sake of it. Yep, select the files. Okay, so there's a bunch of uh, information here. I'm going to click next, and I'm hoping that we're gonna start the restore pro database restore process very shortly. Um, in regards to those options, I'm just going to keep everything as is. I'm not going to explore option by option here. It did work well for me with everything uh, selected, but you can definitely dig deeper and check each and every single option here to see what they mean. But I'm going to keep them as default. I'm going to just hit next again. This is basically uh, warning me that it will, if by any chance the database is not empty, it will empty the database and everything will be lost there in that database that we have just created. But again, we have just created the database, so that's okay. It can try to empty and there, there will be, uh, there's nothing there. So that's fine with that. But again, it's it's the, re, the, the message is valid because you might be restoring this on top of an existing database. Okay, so now I'm going to hit execute operation. So it's doing the restoring. As you can see, we have the cursor scrolling here, the scroll bar. Now, the database restore is completed, but not the entire site. So I will not go to the root, uh, to the home page of my site yet, because I still, and that's very wise that they say that here. I still have to set up a new portal alias and I still have to restore the site files. So I'm going to click this link, which will bring me back to the starting uh, page that shows me the option that I have to go through. Now I have to set up the proper portal alias, of course, because this is a new portal alias that I have to create uh, in, the, in this new database. I mean, I brought this site from the live site from a live site. So it used to be the portal alias there used to be uh, 1-800-DNN.com, but it's not the case here. So I have to set up the portal alias so the site will be able to run properly. Let's click next. It's asking me for database connection again. This is all set already. Click next again. Now, very wisely, the wizard is asking me if I want to add uh, one more portal alias to my list of alias here that is already in the database uh, called localhost slash 1-800-DNN-Restore because the wizard is running from that uh, URL. So yes, of course, I want to do that. So I'm going to click update portal alias. So the new portal alias now is a localhost uh, slash 1-800-DNN-Restore. What we have here, what else? It's also suggest me to do some uh, changes on under my host settings, gzip, uh, schedule mode to to disable scheduler. I'm going to apply that uh, safe hosting settings, as they say here. I'm going to apply those as well. And I'm going to just hit next. Now, if I wanted to run any scripts on my database, I could. I could run it from here if there's anything else that I want to to update, to change, but the main thing is already changed because uh, the portal alias, the wizard gave me already the option to add the portal alias. If you if you want to check, we can just run this quickly just to have uh, a look. Execute this. As you can see, the 1-800-DNN-Restore is already there. Perfect. I, I don't need to do anything else at this point, but you can use this interface if you want to do anything else in regards to uh, updating uh, database tables or records or anything like that. But I'm going to skip this. So let's click next again. And I'm going to restart the wizard now to do the last step, which is restoring the site files. So let's go back. And the third option comes pre-selected already. Very simple wizard to, to use. Very, very simple. I'm very glad with uh, this interface that they have built here. So the third one is already selected, which is files restore. I'm going to hit next. The, because of the file terminology that I have kept, it's assuming that, and because I have placed this file inside the backup folder, it's assuming that this is, it's given me the option to restore that zip file 
as the file's backup. So I'm gonna check here. If I had a password for a zip file, I would have placed it here. It's perfect. So I'm gonna select, I'm gonna hit next. It's a big file. We have to wait a little bit after next. Um, it's just saying that all files will be restored to the proper location in the web config file updated with the connection string, which is what we want. We don't want to do those things manually. Let's just execute operation. So restoring is happening with the site files. Log is growing. Just keep rolling this one. Uh, files unzipped successfully, succeeded and restore operation completed. Now, um, I could go back to the restore wizard, but there's nothing else to be restored. We have restored the database, we have changed the portal alias, and then we have restored the site files. Now, very important, the same process, you could be using that inside a hosting provider that has an empty uh, site for you. I'm just doing that locally for the sake of testing the backup files. Now, I'm, I think that we are in the point that we can go to the homepage of our restored sites. So let's go to your website homepage. Let's click there. Cross your fingers. And now we have our sites running on my local system. Now, uh, those, those missing images as compared to my live site, it's just most likely because I'm using some uh, relative path. And here, because I'm running under localhost slash 1-800-DN-RESTORE, uh, the, 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 some of the files, the site files, even though they are here, but they are referencing the, the root, uh, the, the root domain, and it's not expecting to have, uh, um, a sub, a sub, uh, not a subdomain, a subfolder running under a subfolder, which is our case here in our local host. But again, all those images are local as well. If we are running under, under uh, a real domain, a live domain, this, those images would be showing up. Okay. So this is it. This is how you can go about restoring the site files from a backup that you have done using the DNN backup module from Evotiva. Uh, storing that backup under uh, Amazon S3. And even though it took about two videos to go through it, but the process is not that complex and it can really save people if they do, if they do a, a, a frequent backup with, uh, with such a module. I think, I think this is the type of module that, uh, everybody that has a, a .NET website should definitely consider having such module. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is it for now and bye.